ready to go to the gym? <laughs> yeah. Are you going like that? Yeah, my snow boots and my pants. <laughs> Alright, gym time. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back for a back workout. Hey, what's going on everybody? Zeus, you cannot bark when I'm doing a voiceover. Yeah. We are here in the gym. Ah, that just sounded weird. All right, what's going on guys? We are back with another voiceover here. Are you kidding me? And since I refuse to record this voiceover again, we are going to just roll with it here. We started out this workout with some body weight pull-ups. I hit about three to four sets of eight to 10 reps. And that's something I told you guys I really like to do before any of my pull workouts to really get myself warmed up and ready to go. Then we moved into some lat pull down and I get a lot of questions on which handle should I use? Which should my grip width be like? Should I go overhand, underhand, wide, narrow? And really what it comes down to is one, what are your goals? Two, what does your body structure allow for? And three, what activates the muscle best for you? So some people are uncomfortable doing an underhand grip. Some people are uncomfortable with a neutral grip. So you have to really figure out what's really targeting your back the most, what's the most comfortable for you, and what allows you to move the most amount of weight with proper form. So you get the narrow or parallel grip, which I actually think is a pretty good grip. Most people will notice they can't lift as much as they can with an underhand grip because there's a little bit less biceps involvement and more brachialis involvement. But with the underhand grip, you're involving the biceps a lot more. So if your primary goal is to really target your back, my favorite grip is the overhand grip. And I like to go just outside of shoulder width. And I think there was this idea that wide grip equals wide lats. And that's not the case at all. That's complete nonsense because if you think about it, if you go really wide on a lat pull down or a pull up, you're actually limiting your range of motion. And and the purpose is to be able to stretch your lats completely and then get a full contraction. And if you go too wide, you won't be able to do that. So in my personal opinion, if you're really trying to just target your back, an overhand grip just outside of shoulder width, keep that chest up and focus on pulling through the elbows and squeezing the back. No rocking back and forth, no jumping out of the seat. and. You can also switch grips, guys. You don't have to do the same thing every time. If you want a little bit more biceps and you want to move a little bit more weight, go ahead and use the underhand grip. You know what? We will save that topic for its own separate video. I'll do a few form videos on back exercises. In the meantime, let's watch me do this drop set here. You know what, I think that might be a great idea for a future video talking about drop sets since I used them in my last two workouts and it led to some questions. And I'm always thinking of new ideas. I have a list right by my computer where I write down suggestions that you guys leave in the comment section below for future videos you wanna see. So if there's anything that comes to mind, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get around to that. And moving forward, I finished off my back workout with some seated cable rows. Now there's one thing you'll notice in this entire workout is that we didn't use any free weights and look at Pele in the background trying to play soccer with a medicine ball. So if you can, please ignore that. But the reason I'm first doing these one arm is because look at the amount of range of motion I'm getting. I'm getting a complete full stretch in my lat and then a full contraction as well. And I'm not saying that machines or cables are better than free weights or vice versa. I think you should incorporate both into your routines, but I do see a lot of value with cables. First of all, there's constant tension on my lat throughout this entire range of motion. I'm able to get a complete stretch without compromising my back position at all. And I get a full 
contraction in my lats. So it allows for better form and constant tension. So I like to vary my workouts up. Some people look at that as like you're not training hard if you're not using free weights. I completely disagree. I think free weights are excellent. I use them all the time in my training. But I also think there's a time and place for machines and for cables. And again, I'll talk about that in another video. But we're going to finish off this workout here with a superset of doing some cable curls followed by some reverse cable curls. So enjoy this and enjoy the rest of the video. Another beautiful day. What's going on everybody? It is February 18, 2015, right around four o'clock. I'm about to go do cardio in just a little bit. I know, I'm a tool, I'm a loser, I'm doing cardio, but I actually enjoy doing cardio. It's a way for me to get out of the house. It's a way to get moving. I have a pretty sedentary lifestyle for the most part. This is where I spend most of my days and most of my time. Online coaching with my clients, Gets done here, emails here, these YouTube videos that I edit here. Everything gets done right here, so I'm sitting down for the majority of the day, and I need to get out there, but there's 10 feet of snow on the ground, and it's below zero outside. So it's my way just to get moving, especially on my off days from the gym, because I need to be in the gym. I absolutely love being in the gym, but for the most part, it's kind of my time just to kind of hang out, relax a little bit, get moving, watch some videos. You ever do something, and then a couple minutes later you're like, why did I do that? That's exactly how I feel right now after spinning in that chair. I'm still dizzy. Believe it or not, my stomach is turned upside down and my head is rattling. So why did I do that in the first place? I wish I had a solid answer. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys have been through this before. You do something and you're like, <laughs> that was pretty dumb. That's exactly how I feel right now. What a dumbass I am. Questions for They're you. talking about Vince McMahon and steroids. And uh, he's on the HG, uh, Opie and Anthony. The HGH. Yeah, he is fucking ripped. He looks better than fucking uh, he is ripped. Cindy Crawford. He looks better than most of the wrestlers because uh, wow. Vince could still do <laughs> steroids. <laughs> <laughs> That's steroids. Come on. I have no idea. I, think just I should say that, but that's clean gotta, living and get the two fuck days. out of here. Lifting chains. Lifting yeah. chains up. He is Lots ripped. of broccoli and eggs. He's 69. 69. 69. And he's ripped on the cover of Muscle and Fitness. He probably works out six days a week, though, for 30 years. I mean, but he doesn't even have an old man body. Like, you know, old men, no matter how good a shape they're in the skin, right. it's just, it just. Well, you through. lose muscle mass as you get older. The, you know, it. Not if you're Vince. It, it starts going against you. He hasn't lost anything. Nope. So, so what's that about? So Larry King is wasting his time by being on HGH because he doesn't he doesn't work out. He's got some weird like alien type body. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you wanna come in? Huh? I said, hey, you wanna come in? Yeah. <laughs> what's up, babe? Oh, the fresh air feels so good. Ectomorph. That's all I wanted to say. What kind of card is that? Alright, so we're home from the grocery store. I'm not going to do like an unbagging or anything. I'll show you guys what we picked up either later this week or early next week. But it's time to make some dinner. And I'm showing you what I'm making here. We're going to make a burrito. We have some ground chicken already cooked up. And what we're going to do is just toss all of this stuff in this bowl, heat it up, and then wrap it up. Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. So we have the ground chicken, we have some fat-free sour cream, we have some of this on the border Monterey Jack queso, 
so good. We have black bean and corn salsa. Also so good. We have some onion. We have some lettuce. So all that's gonna go in the wrap. What are we missing? Maybe a little bit of cheese. This already has some black beans in it. Chicken. Oh yeah, you showed that. Ground chicken. Maybe something else. I'll show you guys what we're eating when we're done. All right, so food's done, finished product right here. We got the burrito that I told you about. I showed you everything that was in there. We got some asparagus right here with a little bit of garlic salt on top. Bag of these cheddar and sour cream crushed chips. I have to say the barbecue are still the best flavor in my opinion. So that's what we're eating right here. Brittany made up a little stir fry. She's got some shrimp, rice, asparagus, what, peppers, onions. Peppers and onions. Crushed chips on the side. And that's it. That's dinner. That's dinner. And you sit down for some YouTube videos. All right, home from the grocery store, sorry. 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 <laughs> home from the grocery store, sorry. <laughs> All right, so home from the grocery store and All right, so home from the grocery store and what am I trying to say? So I hope you all enjoyed watching that video as much as I did recording it. If you missed the previous video, go ahead and click it right there on the screen. It's playing for you. It will open up in a new window. If you want to join the VIP list or apply for coaching, you can do so right there on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate the support, and I'll see you all in the next video.